welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. If you are new, my name is Kaylee and I am showing you guys how I spend my money, how I save my money, and how I pay off my debt. I paid off a little bit under $35,000 in student loans with the first year not being serious about it at all and mainly just throwing like $100 here and there towards it. And then now I am paying off a car. Um, this is a car that has no interest or anything like that because um, I actually, my dad paid for the car and now I am paying him back for the car. Um, so that is what's going on there. I show you guys how I spend my money, how I save my money, the mistakes that I feel that I've made and things that to me were worth it um, in my purchases even though it might set me back a little bit in paying off my debt. So let's go ahead and get into the final November budget. Okay, so for income, I made two weeks out of the month, I made my standard income. On week two, I got 20 extra dollars for driving my iPad up to the hospital for my grandpa to use, and it was for gas, which is fantastic. And bed risers, I got $5 because I was not using them. In the next week, I got $5 for a co-worker, co-worker's lunch. I bought her lunch. She was just paying me back. The reason I put it here and not in the other category that I have is because it came out of my contacts rebate and you can't put money back on that. So gifts. Uh, for gifts, I got my brother's Christmas present. Still need to wrap that. Uh, church, I did a couple fundraisers and my regular church donation. A lot of uh, stuff in other. My parents actually had me go get stuff for Thanksgiving, so you will see those expenses in there as well. Housing and utilities, my rent went out as normal. Water was $31.70. Gas, electric, and internet all came out as planned. Household maintenance, I had a few more expenses than planned, leaving only $45.70 in my household maintenance fund, but that is okay. We are going to start building it up. Lawn care, $0, and pet care, we built that up to an even 100. Next month, her food is coming out, though. So we'll have to build that back up, and I believe she's going to have shots this month as well. I have to schedule her, schedule her an appointment. Transportation, my gas was only $75.80 this month. It's really fantastic. This car has been really beneficial in saving me money on gas. I was spending around 200 or above on gas every month, so it's saving me anywhere from $100 to $150 on gas every single month. It has been fantastic, and I even can say that I believe I'm driving more than I was before, so the fact that my gas is less even though I'm driving more is absolutely fantastic and just makes me so happy. My maintenance uh, for car is $475.55. Food, I went above my grocery budget, but that is okay. So I purchased shelf stable milk. This I put all these with my grandma, so I went to all these and I purchased some stuff and I went ahead and got some stuff for my grandma and I just put it all together and I decided not to have her pay me back and not separate it out. It just wasn't worth it. And so I, this was just a reminder to myself, um, kind of that, uh, not all of this 1192 was for me, but I did pay for it all. Shelf stable milk was very expensive, but very worth it to me. I, needed something that I didn't always have to go out and get and that could be stored in the fridge once open but wasn't going to be taking up a bunch of room the rest of the time and so shelf stable milk was a great option for me. It was a little bit more expensive but I have a large uh, two or three cases of it sitting in my spare bedroom right now and it has been absolutely fantastic for any emergencies and especially going into the winter i think that it's great to have on hand restaurants i did go under my 50 dollar budget in the sense of this category now i did go above 50 dollars if you add in the contacts rebate card that i have because i did spend food in that area but that money is there for whatever I want. It's kind of like a fun thing and I tend to spend it on food. So I'm not going to count that in my restaurant category. So $44 there. Lifestyle, my phone bill went out as planned. My medical, I had a chiropractor and then I got blue light glasses. So those are my expenses there. I have $83.99 left in clothing. 
Hair and Beauty, I spent 85, so less than I normally do, which is really great. Spotify went out as planned, Netflix went out as planned, Prime doesn't come out, and Acorns came out as planned. Insurance, I did go ahead and pay my car insurance. It was $284.03, not the standard price that I will pay. It's around 300 and something, I think it's like 315, but due to the pandemic, they know people are going to be driving less or being more careful. There's less drivers on the road. So they did give us a discount this, uh, this six months. So that has been great. And I went ahead and paid it this month, got it taken care of. And now I will pay it again in June. Nothing else insurance wise. Business, I just had my ep epidemic sound come out for $15. Savings, I am putting uh, $231.97 into my emergency fund this month. Now, I did spend $551.27 on my new mattress. Um, again, I'm hoping to have a review out within the next couple of months. Um, I'm going to try it out, give you the pros and cons, but 100% worth it. My sleep has been so much better and definitely a great purchase for me. And this move over of $1.15 was um, my grandparents that are not normally in my other category. And my parents also rounded up when they paid me back and did not want the change back. So I went ahead and moved that $1.15 over to uh, my emergency fund. And then we have debt. We have $1,000 going towards my car. This means that I'm at $6,608.88. Just as a reminder, we started at just over $16,000. So this has been an amazing, uh, <laughs> it's been an amazing uh, six months that we've paid off debt. I mean, I never thought that I could pay off debt this fast and I'm so excited to be able to do it. Now my contacts rebate, I spent a good chunk of money going out to eat. Um, this was with my brother, this is with my grandparents, I believe this was with my coworker. So several times I was able to pay for someone else's food. My coworker obviously paid me back, but it was very nice that, that I got this chance with this rebate card to purchase other people's meals and share a meal with them. And it's really great just to have that extra uh, card to use whenever I don't necessarily wanna pull it uh, out of my standard budget. Okay, you guys, so there is my final November budget. As you can see, I did spend a little bit more in some areas. Uh, the biggest one definitely being uh, the emergency fund buying my mattress. I can tell you that it has 100% been worth it and I do not regret that purchase at all. It is kind of sad that it did set me back a little bit um, in my emergency fund, but I have been sleeping so well and I just feel so much more aware of everything that's going on. I didn't realize how kind of like fuzzy my head was from not getting enough sleep that it was a hundred percent worth the purchase and I know it's something based on the research that I've done that is going to last and the warranty on it is amazing. Um, I am planning on doing a video on my mattress and why I ended up choosing the mattress that I did and uh so you guys will hopefully be seeing that soon. I am giving it a couple months to fully try it out and get all the information so I have any pros and cons for you that I found with the mattress. Um, I obviously spent a lot in my house maintenance fund as well. Um, this is an area that I'm hoping to start saving up again and building it up, but I do have some more house uh, purchases that I'm trying to make that are actually going to save me money in the long run or save me time so I can go out and possibly make more money or ways that I can stop spending so much. So that is the video for this week. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and look out for that mattress video within the coming months. Hopefully I'm planning on having it done in January and having all of the information for you. I also will have a review of the Tushy that I purchased as well and I am also hoping to 
reorganize my pantry staples and the food storage that I have collected over this year. The reason the past few months my uh, food bill has been so high and reorganize that and show you what I have um, in storage so I don't run out and can save money in the future. So look out for those videos. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are interested in any of this. And if you have any videos that you guys are wanting to see um, along the lines of saving money or food videos or how I save money, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye! No, right now, we can change anything